and friends, happy Valentine's Day! I pray that you will feel loved by your family, friends, and especially Jesus. As I prayed earlier today, Paul wrote in Romans 8 that there is nothing that can separate us from God's love. Be reminded that God loves you. In this unit, we've been learning about outcasts and sometimes how we all feel left out. The good news is we can always turn to Jesus for hope. But did you know that Jesus didn't always fit right in or he wasn't always accepted by the people around him too? He felt like an outcast. Jesus, God's perfect son, had been born on earth as a baby. As a child, Jesus looked like just like any other boy. He probably liked many of the things that other boys his age liked. He grew up like the other kids in his time and culture. Except Jesus never once sinned. He was never once mean to his brothers, sisters, or friends. He never once told a lie or was disrespectful to his mom or dad. He always thought, said, and did what was right. Whoa, that just blew my mind. We always knew that Jesus was perfect and without sin, but even two-year-old Jesus or five-year-old Jesus, even teenager Jesus was perfect and without sin? Wow, parents, can you imagine? This perfect Jesus died for our sins on the cross. Say it with me, Jesus died for me. As an adult, Jesus spent about three years teaching people about God and doing miracles. Some people thought Jesus was amazing because he could heal sick people, make people walk who couldn't walk, or even raise people from the dead. Crowds of people would follow Jesus around to see what he would do next and hear what he had to teach. But not everyone liked Jesus. Jesus taught things about God and life that didn't sound fun to a lot of people. Jesus said people would have to give up things in order to follow him. Some people weren't happy that Jesus didn't do things the way they thought that he should do. He had all this power, but he didn't fight against the Romans who ruled over them. Many of the people who had been following Jesus stopped. Other people, especially the religious leaders, actually hated Jesus and wanted him dead. This didn't change how Jesus lived. He didn't come to earth to be popular or famous. Jesus had a much greater reason. He came to do God's big, amazing plan. He knew this plan included people hating him, but he continued to follow God's plan anyway. Then, one night, it happened. Soldiers found Jesus and his disciples in a garden, and they arrested Jesus. They took him to the religious leaders first, then to Pilate, the governor, the man who had the power to punish people. The religious leaders were saying things about Jesus that weren't true. They also said, we found him misleading, telling people lies that he claims to be Christ and King. Well, we know that Jesus is the Christ and King, but the religious leader said that Jesus was lying about those things. Governor Pilate was trying to figure out if Jesus was really guilty of what the religious leaders were accusing him of. It was a big deal to claim to be king. If the government thought you would lead people against them, they would have you killed. So Pilate asked Jesus, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus is the king of the Jews because Jesus is king of everything. Jesus had the power and authority to make Pilate let him go right then and there, but Jesus didn't. Jesus chose to follow God's plan, even though it meant that he would suffer and be treated badly. Then Pilate announced to the chief priests and the crowd, I find no basis for a charge against this man. Pilate knew Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. He told the religious leaders that Jesus was innocent, but the religious leaders hated Jesus so much that they wanted him punished. Pilate was afraid of what the religious leaders would do if he didn't give them what they wanted. So Pilate again told the religious leaders what he'd said before. He said, I can't find that he has done anything wrong. I'll just beat him and send him away. Do you think that this made people happy? That Jesus would let be let go after he was beaten? No, the people weren't happy. The religious leaders had convinced the people that Jesus should be punished far greater. They didn't just want to want Jesus hurt, they wanted him dead. There's more to this story. Next week, we'll discover what happened to Jesus. Jesus knows how it feels to be an outcast, to be lonely, to feel left out. He was God, but he was also a man. Because Jesus experienced this suffering, he can know of our suffering and be able to comfort us. It was all part of God's plan. Remember, Jesus died for you and me.